My name is John Bitren Mandu. I work with African Youth Initiative on Climate Change as the national coordinator and at J.org as the regional director for Africa. So we have been engaging and working with uh, young people around the country and amongst other spaces so that we are environmentally conscious and we become, you know, uh, citizens that are aware and responsible in terms of production and consumption so that we do not distract, you know, for our kids. I know most people would be talking about, you know, preserve the environment for the near future generations, but now we are the adults. We are the young adults, so we have to preserve it for our children. But in order to do that, you should be self-aware, educated. So as an organization, we have been working uh, at one of these Ramsar sites, which is Lake Chivero. Uh, we have done, obviously, some work camps in Victoria Falls in the past, but we have been doing amazing projects at Lake Chivero so that we restore as well as try and conserve. Obviously, it's not an easy task, but we have been doing uh, what as much as we can. We have uh, embarked on a journey of doing cleanups here at Lake Chivero, removing more than uh, hundreds of tons now of waste uh, that has been accumulating since 2014. You know, we've been doing cleanups. The first one was uh, in 2014 when we removed, uh, you know, 50, 40 tons of net because the lake had been the lowest it had been in years. Um, so this motivated us to set up a litter transfer center. And this litter transfer center has been managed by young people. So, yeah, we have clubs, loads of clubs. So when we initially did set up this, we would see that Unyani would bring their bottles here or would go and collect. All the clubs we used to go and collect, and then we done we did the sorting here. So out of the sorting, we used to sell the plastics, the cans, and the bottle, and then the, the money that we get would be now given to the young people, some of it support with the transportation of the waste. That's how the young people were participating. So we are encouraging a waste sorting at the source. And as I can see, it, it seems as if there is uh, no uh, support from the, the local clubs. They were supposed to bring waste here already sorted, but it's not happening. When they did do that, people were coming a, uh, a presence here to make sure that it's looked after. Because they, they come and they uh, they stole the black plastic bags. They just threw everything out and the bags were gone. Yeah. We have also now done, um, you know, enhancement because the lake has loads of fishing activities for livelihoods. Um, so to reduce the stress and not just think about, you know, growing up from the community and going to the lake, we have started our fish farming initiatives in partnership with the authorities, AMAs and parks, who have been supportive to us and the RDCs. Um, and Queen Bashiri, who uh, is our main partner when our projects here at Lecture. So we have put up some fish ponds, which um, has increased the water holding capacity and also has encouraged or improved vegetation. Now you can see there's more vegetation. Also, there's fish that is there because these ponds are natural ponds. Um, so they help also restock and also save, you know, water and also for us as a food source when it comes to fish rather than just relying on the lake on its own so these are some of the initiatives that we are doing we are encouraging innovation amongst young people we are also educating them so how you, you know you can work from what you have because most of us do not relate to these natural resources because they were built more than 70 years ago but then for you to know the importance and uh, the relevance that it has, it being a Ramsar site, what does it mean? The carbon sequestration, uh, the adaptive capacity, that's a whole new education that you should acquire, even just like we are talking about climate education, which is critical for us. And we hope the governments invest in that. They include it in their NDCs and uh, do beyond what's there civic education is needed so that everyone is equipped with the rightful knowledge they can come up with plans um, to then in encourage development like i said and also production and sustainable consumption so these are amongst some of the new projects that we are doing as in young people we also aim to protect the basin of the ramsar site so that the wetlands the small wetlands that are coming in can continue to rejuvenate and withhold water so that they can slowly release into the lake i know we have you know so many disasters that are coming up the droughts you know the floods flash flooding they require this wetland so that we are able to what to adapt and uh, for our communities not to be affected uh, heavily <laughs>